Questions for Kate? All right, Kate, I know uh, you're going to run whatever play is called, so I'm not sure how different it is for you as an offensive lineman. But, you know, big decision today from Gus. He said he's handing over play call to Tim Harris Jr. Just as a player, what's your reaction to a move like that coming midseason? You know, like you said, I'm going to run what's called. Um, we're more of a player-led team, so we lean on each other's backs instead of the coaches' backs, really. But, you know, that's the most important thing right now is just leaning on each other. Kane, what's been the message then from the, leader, the leaders uh, among the players about this going on? I mean, what, what's been the message to them and you guys about what needs to happen over the next four games? Yeah, you know, like I just said, lean on each other. Um, we're a player-led team, so, you know, just the main thing is just, you know, knowing we have each other's backs and whatever happens, we always got each other. Coach said at this point you're still working the decision of who's starting at quarterback. What have you seen from Bill uh, uh, lately or in his time here with you that kind of made him jump into jockey for the opportunity here potentially this weekend? You know, Dylan's kind of the nonchalant guy. So, you know, I think that's what helped him out a lot in the game is that he just he had no expectations and he just balled out. And I'm really proud of him. Um, he's been, um, you know, battling for that job for a while now. So I'm really proud that he uh, got in there and did what he did on Saturday. You guys have had four quarterbacks play in the month of October. So how are you adjusting as the center to, to, to get used to the styles of all, of all four of those guys and you know, what they want to run and what they want to do? You know, really the only style that I need to adjust to is the height difference. So just, you know, getting the reps in practice about snapping to different heights. And, you know, they all have different, I guess, uh, frequencies of cadences. So, you know, just getting adjusted to that. But. I'm a block for whoever's behind me, and you know the whole offensive line is going to do the same thing. So we're not really worried about what QB's back there. You mentioned this being a player-led team. Who are some of those leaders, and who are stepping up, who are stepped up during this time of different changes and stuff going on? Yeah, you know our captains, uh, Marcellus, Ethan, um, KJ. You know they've all been very vocal and just trying to hold the team together, um, just trying to remind each other that we have each other. Saturday was, was a bit of a struggle offensively, but what does it mean to have Arlie Harvey hit 1,000 yards and, and, and what does it mean for the offensive line to, to, have a, to have a runner hit that mark this early in the season? You know, it's awesome. Um, it just shows that, I mean, we're very physical and, you know, we want to get him the ball. Um, you know, it's awesome just to see him have that success and just to be blocking for him. So, How important is Kobe Hudson to this offense and how do you guys adjust if he's goes down for if he misses some time. Yeah, Kobe's very important. He uh, he opens up some of the run game. And when RJ's getting a lot of the uh, touches, RJ opens up a lot of the pass game for Kobe. So it's a, it would be a loss, but we're hopeful to get him back for this week. What have you seen so far from Arizona as far as their defensive fronts? You know, today we watched uh, KYP, which is personnel. So we're just learning what their moves are, what they do, what they like to do on defense. So there are a lot of they're, they have a lot of twitch to them. They're lighter guys for the most part, so they're they're really twitchy. Um, they like a lot of speed rushes, so you know we're going to dive into more of what they're trying to do as a whole defense later in the week. But as of for now, they, they, they're very twitchy guys. Another unsung hero in blocking and things like that. Tiny Randy Pittman. How would you evaluate what he does for the run game and blocking? Oh, it's awesome. You know, as an offensive lineman, we're very biased towards blocking and you know using tight ends for blocking. But he's been doing a great job. Uh, how did the Hats on Hats game play pan out against BYU? <coughs> hats on Hats have played out all season. Um, you know, we played a lot of teams that do a lot of stuff. BYU was did the most stuff that uh, out of who we've played so far. So just getting Hats on Hats opened up lanes for RJ. And how do you plan to incorporate that in, um, in the space game? You know, just communicate well, make sure all the IDs are on point, and just make sure everybody's on the same page. It seemed like you know Dylan Risk well. Uh, you talked about how he's been kind of competing and fighting for this job for a long time. Just kind of what's been your perceptions of him these last couple of years since he's been here? I knew he was a winning high, winning quarterback at the high school level and just kind of fighting through a depth chart. Just kind of can you share more about what you've seen from Dylan the last couple of years? Yeah, well, I live with Dylan, so yeah. I mean, that kind of helps. So, um, you know, like I said, he's just nonchalant, um, he's always going to be ready. And I think that was evident in the game on Saturday. But, you know, we, we trust him. We trust everybody behind us. Um, it's just we want to win. So. so what's he like at home? Is he, like, taking everything on with him, like, watching film on the team? Like, what is he like? Just you see him putting in the work, I guess? Dylan puts all the work in here. Um, he likes to get away from everything at home. But, you know, that boy is so invested in school, it's crazy. Like, he's up in his room studying all the time. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably between chemistry and football, probably balancing out the two, I hope. But, you know. He's, he's a good dude. 
you've been around for a few of the space games, so what's kind of like your, you know, what do you like most about this week, and how would you kind of evaluate? Is, is it a matter of like a, a, some sort of psychological edge or extra, extra juice that you guys get? Yeah, well, I mean, we always like to say the only game that matters is the one at hand. We play faceless opponents, so it doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, the space game is definitely a cool deal. You know, that's UCF's signature thing. So just to be a part of it is really cool. Um, but like I said, we, the main goal is just to win. It's not about what game it is. We just want to win the game. How, I guess, troubling or just, you know, in the middle of the season, you went down with an injury. You had to miss, what, a game and a half or whatever mm -hmm. it was. I mean, that had to be a taxing thing for you because you want to be out there with your guys and you can't do it. Was that a, a difficult time period for you? Yeah, it was difficult. The only thing I could do is just be the best version of myself I could be, and that version wasn't on the field. So I was on the sideline trying to talk to guys about looks, what they're trying to do. I had the iPad um, ready to go for Coach Hand every time. So, you know, just doing what I can um, to help the team out, even if I couldn't be on the field. Is, and is, this, this season, I mean, this isn't what you guys anticipated going into it. I know you had high hopes of competing for the Big 12. Just how trying has that been? And, and what have you seen from your teammates? I know Coach Gus got some about leadership in the locker room and all that stuff. I mean, what's this season been like, I guess? You know, I mean, like you said, nothing like we expected. You know, we, we all just want to win. Um, but I guess the main thing is that we really learned to follow each other. And some of the bonds we built throughout camp and through the first half of the season really come to show in times like this because nothing's going as we want it to go. But, you know, it just really shows the, the kind of bonds we have between each other. Good stuff. Perfect. Thank you, Thanks, guys.